didn't sleep so well. I've had better nights. I'm sorry, Sam. I just think we need to set a better example for the kids. By not sleeping together for God knows how long? Race with her parents. I know, Sam. But in the eyes of the church, we're not really married until I get that annulment from David, and you and I take our vows again. And I really think that our actions have adversely affected Kay. I'm sorry she was so rough on you last night. <laughs> rough? You know, she said words I didn't even think she knew. I just gotta find a way to reach her and make her realize that Charity and Miguel are meant to be together. And that... And that love isn't always... easy. Look, I'll do whatever you want. I really missed you last night. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I missed you too. <laughs> hey. Sorry, <laughs> I should have knocked. No, you know our house is yours. How's Charity this morning? She's doing great. All the doctors are saying so. Actually, I, I just came back from the hospital. I slept in the chair by her bed. Welcome to the club. What's that, Chief Bennett? Oh, nothing. Anyway. Thanks. I still can't believe the things Kay said to you. Yeah, well, neither can I. Hey, just get Stop your talking. hands off me, you bitch! We will continue this after you have calmed down. Well, don't count on that. That is enough, Kay. Don't you get it yet? I don't give a flying Kay! I don't believe that you were going to use that word. Well, believe it. I think it'd make you happy I'm using curse words now because that just gives you another reason to hate me. You know, she got so worked up telling me what she thought of me, she almost used the F word. You know, I'm going to ground that girl. No, Sam. Well, she's certainly not going to get away with using language like that with her own mother. I just don't think that punishing her is the right thing to do. I mean, for her to lash out like that, she must be having some really terrible emotional pain. And you think this is about a crush on Miguel? She just can't believe that Miguel loves Charity. And to make matters worse, she thinks I always take Charity's side. I mean, you don't think I play favorites, do you? Of course not. You've treated all of your children fairly. Well, I've tried, but maybe I've failed. You know, our family has really grown in the last couple of years. I mean, first, we took on Charity when my sister died. And then we both found out that we had sons we never knew existed. We just had to deal with Charity and Ethan and now John. <laughs> Jessica seems to love all the new siblings. I just don't know what happened to Kay. Kay's always been extra sensitive. You now she feels like the low man on the totem pole. Well, it still doesn't excuse any of the things she said to you. No, I guess not. But I, I gotta find a way to make her realize that the whole world isn't against her the way she seems to think it is. And that just because Miguel loves charity doesn't mean that she can't live a happy, fulfilling life. You think she'll listen? I don't know. But she's got to learn that you can't get love through manipulation. People either love you or they don't. I'll call you later, okay? Okay, great. You think you'll be back for lunch? Uh, God, I'm not sure. I've got a pretty busy morning. I have to go back out to the Crane Mansion. You're just there. You gotta still have to question Julian. But I thought he didn't know who shot him. He claims he doesn't know, but... I'm still wondering how much he knew about Teresa's almost execution and when he knew about it. You think Ivy will be there? I suppose. Hey, you're still not worried about me and Ivy, are you? No. I know you love me. With all of my heart. Mm. Mm. What's wrong? Oh. Thank you. I, I just had a premonition last night. I can feel evil creeping back in. And I know it'll hurt the people I love very much. Ivy. It's silly. I'm not going to bother you with it. Okay. Hey. You sure you're all right? Absolutely. Good morning. Mm. <laughs> you know, I hate leaving you alone to deal with Kay today. Listen, 
Maybe I should stay home this morning. Look, I'll question Julian this afternoon. Right, no, Sam, now you're the one who's overreacting. You know, we'll both be better after a good night's sleep, and Kay and I'll just have a good old-fashioned mother-daughter talk. Well, I hope she's more receptive today than she was last night. Yeah, I hope so, too. And I keep remembering the first time I held her in my arms. Well, she was a beautiful baby. Mm -hmm. You know, a girl, I was so excited, my first daughter. I thought we'd always have a special bond because of that. Listen, you're going to get it back. Oh, I don't know, Sam. She seems to be so far from me now. I so badly want to reach her. You will. Okay. Are you sure? Are you sure you want me to leave? Oh, absolutely. Look, you go give Julian a hard time. And I'll go upstairs and convince Kay that I love her as much as all the other children. Okay. Good luck. I know you can do it. Um, it's, it's not Kay's fault, Mrs. Bennett. I just walked in without knocking. I had no idea that Kay was in the shower. The water wasn't running? I had just turned it off. Put this on, Paul. You've got your own shower. Why didn't you use that one? Jessica was in my bathroom, so I used this one. Is that a crime? No, I was just... Look, never mind. Miguel, there's a shower down the hall. Why don't you use that one? Yeah, sure. I'm really sorry. No, Miguel. And it's not your fault. You're in a hurry to get back to the hospital to see Charity and your brother. My brother? What, what's wrong with Luis? I'm in Antonio. What? Oh, my gosh, you didn't know. Your brother's back in town, but he had to spend the night in the hospital. Thanks, Mrs. Bennett. I, I gotta go. Okay. Oh, drats. I should have told him about a situation between Antonio and Luis. Well, I'm sure if you run, you can catch him. You're not getting rid of me that easily, yet. Now you get dressed, and we will have a talk downstairs. And why? So you can blame me for this, too? Just get dressed. I hope we didn't come at a bad time. Oh, no, don't be so. I'm just waiting for Kay to come downstairs so then a little heart to heart. How are you? Fine, Mom. Huh? Is everything okay? <laughs> Everything's fine. Nothing for you to concern yourself with. <laughs> nope, just me. Giving our sainted mother a hard time. Hey. What, Mom? John's family, why shouldn't he hear the whole ugly truth about what a horrible person All right, Kay, that's enough. Oh, we could come back to the time if it's better. I just wanted to thank you for the breakfast you left for me. Ooh, John, what'd she leave you? Pancakes? Bacon? Homemade biscuits? Yeah, it was amazing. I bet. You want to know what I get for breakfast? Cold cereal. All right, Kay, now you're exaggerating. I left you cold cereal one day last week because I had to go to the shop early. Mm -hmm. If you want pancakes, they're in the kitchen. Cold, no doubt. Hey, sis, you want to go for a ride or something? Mom said she'd loan me the car today. First of all, my name is Kay, not sis. And no, I don't want to go anywhere with you. Uh, John, I'm... The keys are in the kitchen. Why don't you help yourself? Thanks. See you later. Easy does it, okay? Easy does it yourself, bro. All right, Kay, that is enough. I'm not in front of David. Oh, why not? David is your first husband, isn't he? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. He's still your husband in the eyes of the church. Is that why John gets to borrow the car and I don't? All right, Kay, you are way over the line right now. Firstly, John is older than you are. Oh, so that's why I come second? Oh, no, wait, I'm sorry. Fit, because I forgot about Jessica, Noah, and Charity. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Daddy's son, Ethan, forgot about him six. All right, young lady, you can feel as sorry for yourself as you want to, but you still owe me an explanation for what I walked in on upstairs. Miguel already explained it to you. He walked in on me on accident while I was in the shower. Is that really what it was? Okay, I am worried about you. We'll join the club. Because I'm worried about me, too. You know why? Because nobody around here gives a flying fig about me. Okay, that is not true. Now, I'm not saying I haven't made some mistakes, but I've always been a loving and caring mother. Oh, is that what you think? You know, last night you asked me where you went wrong as a mother. Do you really want to know the answer to that question or not? Kay, you can't talk to your mother like that. This is none of your business. 
your butt out. Okay. I thought you wanted to hear what a great mother you've been to me. Well, for starters, you always make sure you put me first. Unless Jessica, Charity, Noah, or anyone else in Harmony is having a bad day. You always take care of my needs, unless somebody else is getting your attention first. You always take my side when it comes to things or people that I love, unless someone else you care about loves that same person, and then you don't. Okay, Miguel loves Charity. I'm not finished yet. Last but not least, you always are very sensitive as to what it's like being your daughter. I mean, how many kids get to have moms with premonitions and amnesia who have husbands that turn up out of nowhere? You don't have any more of those hanging around in your past, do you? Okay. I thought you were gonna stay out of this, David. Although, come to think of it, you do have some rights. Considering you're the only one around here with a legal relationship to my mother. Did it ever occur to you how difficult it would be on me finding out that I was your bastard? I will not have you using that language in my house. But bastard is the correct term for what I am, isn't it? Just like bitch is the right term for you. Get your hands off me!